The grade cam answer key can be edited in many ways to create a very customized and dynamic answer form. When you create your assignment and tell GradeCam the number of questions on your assignment, that's the number of answer rows we will display, and we will always display A, B, C, D, E. That does not mean that that's what you have to stick with. If your assessment has different question types, you can easily modify and adjust and customize the GradeCam answer form and the GradeCam answer key. That creates that very dynamic, that in the moment key to match your test that could be coming out of your textbook, could be coming out of a bank of questions that you're using from uh, something that you purchased, from something you Googled online, or a test that you've created on your own. Customizing an answer key needs to start with the understanding that the box in front of the question, if that's selected, you'll see that other tools will roll up here on the toolbar. Select and those roll up. You can edit the answer key by clicking edit, and this is where you have many more feature styles from partial credit to standards to changing the question styles. You can simply by selecting, you can also move that question down if you need to reposition it or maybe you forgot to add a question, you can insert another question before or after the existing question that you have checkmarked so that you don't have to re-edit or change your answer key. You can reset your answer key, delete questions in the middle, and set your standards. Now, something that I think is pretty powerful is the option to make a selection here where you're selecting groups of questions. So for instance, if I have a test that the odd numbers are A, B, C, D, E, but the even numbers are F, G, H, J, K, I can edit those even numbers in one group and now we are all set. And so now my answer key is reflective of those alternating rows. There are times when you need to edit an answer key because you don't have five bubbles. Maybe you only have three, or maybe you have 10. And maybe you'd like to choose what those letters would be in your bubbles. Maybe you would like to put um, something in there that's reflective of the content you're teaching. Maybe it's math where you'd like to have the word line or ray, all completely up to you. Now, here in GradeCam, if you have an answer, Let's say for number one, the question requires two answers. So it's B and D. And that question is worth three points. By default, GradeCam will always give a question the value of one. I've changed it to three points. You must answer both uh, answers to get that full credit. If I'm willing to give partial credit, I could just select B and say, for B, I'm willing to give one point. If they choose just D, I'm willing to also give one point. And maybe I would even be willing to give a part of a point if they chose A for some reason. So you have much, uh, you have many options here. You can also attach a standard. Attaching standards are um, interesting here because once you register for a grade cam license, your standards are already going to show up based upon your state. I'm showing the Texas standards where I can pick any one of those content areas, which bank I would like to use. So if I'm going to be using the TEKS, I would be selecting that. What grade level? And then if I potentially had a uh, keyword ecosystem, I can do a refine, uh, refine search where I'm now down to 25, and I can search through to find the standards that I am looking for. Here's the one I'm looking for, so I'll select that. And I'm gonna hit the back button and save that standard that's been aligned there. Now you may notice that here are um, other question types that are available within GradeCamp. We just don't do multiple choice, but a tip on the multiple choice, you can do up to 10 bubbles. We do offer true-false rubric questions one of my favorites, the rubric with capture, where you're actually allowing GradeCam to provide space on a paper form 
where students can write, draw, create, or edit their work, and you can score that. Once it's scanned in, you don't have to take the papers home. You simply just have to come into the application to grade that one or two questions. I can give up to 10 lines of space for the student to work in, and I can choose if I would like to have a blank space, something with lines, or something with a grid for graphing. I can also choose to type a header here. Maybe I would like the students to see the question here um, or look at something as um, a direction or a tip or a reminder. This will be shown to the students. They will see this right on their grade camp form. For those of you in a, um, a math teachers who would require a number grid, we do have number grids and we do have many mathematical symbols that can be used in the number grid and alternating answers. This is helpful for if you would be willing to accept the uh, from the student one half or 0.5. This allows you to do those alternating answers. But here we have advanced customizable columns. For those of you in the state of Texas who require the uh, star grids, those are right here in grade cam laid out exactly how you will need those with the columns uh, created the way that they need to be with just a decimal or just the negative or positive. And for those of you who are not in Texas, you can take advantage of the advanced gridables too by just choosing the default. Maybe you're working on money and so you would just like to have the money symbol there and you'd like to add another column because you are working on that money and you need a decimal. You only need a uh, decimal in that column. So you're working, there's your dollar sign. They're going to be bubbling in the amount of money there and the decimal and then the cents. So lots of flexibility here within the application. Um, when you look at question styles that fall below this line, handwritten auto grade, that means those are our hand uh, writing recognition questions, and those are available to single teachers for the first 60 days. After that, they will drop off your license, but they are available to our school and district license holders. Fill in the blank questions where you can type in your answer as well as type in a numeric response or provide points in a point range, great for extra credit. So you can see all of this is available just in this edit window. And the last thing to take note of is for those of you who do or need multi-step questions, by just simply adding a A here, I'm going to create a 1A and 1B question by clicking next. Oh, let me go back here because it's actually asking me to, I'm gonna do this with a multiple choice. It's a little easier for show and tell here. I'm gonna do the next and I'm gonna change this to 1B. Here, this will ask, me if I would like to renumber the subsequent questions that are following, which I do, and I'm going to hit next. Watch my answer key as I continue to create this test. I'm going to add a 2A, and now I'm going to add a 2B. And notice that has changed everything for me as I have been working here. Anytime you make an edit within the grade cam edit window, remember that you will need to save. Save is important, and then ultimately you can close out. If you have any questions, feel free to email our support at support at gradecam.com. If your school would like to organize just a nice short touch base webinar, you can also email us at support at gradecam.com, and we'll be happy to organize that with you and your staff. Thank you for joining us. Try out all these great hot tips in the answer key. Make it customizable. Make it your own.